we are now ready to create our color layer. In order to do that, click on the background layer, make sure it is selected, and then go to add new layer. This should add a new layer on top of the background and underneath the line art layer. Once we have done that, click and hold to go to your layer tools and go to rename layer and we are going to name this color layer. Once you are done, click OK. And now we must change the layer blending of the line art layer. Make sure the line art layer is selected and using the arrows, click on the right arrow until you find multiply. What multiply will do is make sure that the darker lines will show through as we begin to paint over the car. Now that all of our layers are in place, we can now begin to color the car. Click on the marker tool. Once you have the marker tool selected, you can double click to edit any of the brush properties. Feel free to use whatever brush properties you'd like. Once you have saved that, we will now go to the right side and select about five or six colors from the Copic library. Make sure that the color layer is selected. Using the bracket tools, I can make the brushes bigger or smaller, and right now I will begin to select five to six different colors that I will use to color this car. This will make it easier for me as I will not get lost in the big color library that the Copic library has. Now that I have my colors selected, I can now begin to color the car. To select a color from the canvas, hover over the color that you'd like to select and hold down the Alt key and then click. That will then sample that color and you can now use that color to paint the car. For now, I'm going to use a lighter color to simply block in the basic values for this car. It is important to note that the Copic markers that are being used right now act the same as traditional Copic markers. What that means is that if you use a darker color and then try to add a lighter color on top of it, it will not get lighter, just like in real life. So, when I'm drawing this car, I will start with a lighter color and simply add darker colors as I get further along. If you do not like anything in your drawing, you can simply click on the eraser tool and erase out any things that you would like. Now that I have the basic values of the car figured out, now I can begin to add any kind of shadows and highlights. For this demo, I will keep it relatively simple, but for you guys at home, you guys can make this car as rendered as you'd like it to be. At any point, if you make a mistake or make any kind of mark that you do not like, you can simply go to the Erasure tool on the left-hand side, or you can hit Command-Z to undo it. Command Z will undo any action that you previously did.
If you want to add any more colors while painting your car, you can simply go over to the Copic Library on the right hand side and click to add more colors if you would like. Once you are done adding all the highlights and shadows, and any details you may have missed, your car is now finished. I hope this tutorial showed you how to take a complex shape like a car and break it down into simple forms using the line tool to build a perspective grid and the freestyle stroke tool to draw and paint your car. Now you guys know how to create any kind of car you would like. My name is Kalen Chalk and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time.